Hi, this is lesson number 54 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to turn any subject to gold. This is the continuation of our previous lesson. Here you can see we have a character and we will turn to gold. We have another file here. Here we have hand sculpture. We will also learn how to turn plain white color into gold. So let's get started with this. The first thing we need to select our subject. We'll open the layer palette. And here we have object selection tool. For quick selection, I will use this rectangular marquee selection. I'm going to draw around my subject. Almost okay, our selection in this area here, we need to subtract this part. Let's select the magic wand tool. Click subtract from selection and click in this area. And this part we need to add in our selection. So add to selection. That is fine. Our subject is selected. Duplicate the layer. Add layer mask. So with this layer now we don't have background. If I will turn off the background, you can see it is without background. Let's desaturate the image. Click on image adjustment. Desaturate. Shift Control U. You can use the shortcut. So here we have black and white version of the image. Click and drag here to duplicate. In this duplicate, we will change the blend mode to difference. It's really black. Now is the time to invert image. The layer is selected. This layer we are going to invert image adjustment and click on invert. You can use keyboard shortcut control I. So we get a little bit chrome effect, but it is not enough. Press control E to merge these two layer or you can just click here and click merge down. Click on preserve. So the mask will remain on this point here. We are going to duplicate once again. And repeat the same process. First apply different. Then image adjustment once again invert. Now you can see we have more shining, but the skin is rough. Go to filter blur and apply surface blur. That's fine. Once again, we need to merge these two layers. You can press control key and click on the lower layer. Merge layers. So here we got our chrome effect on the body. In order to add a little bit more contrast, we can use level command. Image adjustment level. Now is the time to turn our image into gold. So we will add adjustment layer. Background copy to is selected. I will click here. You can use solid color and gradient map. But this time we are going to use color lookup. Click on color lookup. And here in 3D lookup table file, click on this drop down and choose edgy amber. And you can see the effect is applied. Let's isolate the image from the original. We will add new layer and fill it with the black color. My foreground color is black. Press Alt and Backspace. So here you can see the gold effect. Still, if we want, we can change the color variation. We can add another adjustment layer. Click here and choose Hue Saturation. We can change the color the way we want. Rose gold, yellow gold. Once again, click on the subject background copy to. Let's apply the filter, blur and surface blur, not much, just to make a little bit smooth. Another filter, filter gallery, and here we have a plastic wrap. 
click it previously i set the amount and that is fine click ok that's all so this is how we get this beautiful gold effect on our image similar technique we are going to use in this image but here the surface is really smooth using same method we cannot achieve the chrome effect here because here we have on the body bump and uh, some cuts in this case here we don't have so here we will use adjustment layer to create a fake chrome effect so let's make selection click on object selection tool click on drag to draw rectangular marquee selection our hand sculpture is selected but in some part we need to subtract a little bit more so let's go back to the magic wand tool subtract from selection and that is fine now same thing click and drag to duplicate and we are going to add layer mask so here we have only subject isolated from the background chrome effect we are going to add using curve adjustment layer so our layer is selected click here and click on curve in your case it might be selected with the node this way all what you have to do you need to click on the pencil and simply draw a curve line the way i am doing and that's all now you can observe the chrome effect is applied we need to isolate our subject the hand sculpture so we need to click here to clip but in this area you can see the noise and different color to fix this we need to click simply on smooth curve value and that's all don't try to click on the nodes because photoshop will adjust once again the curve and you might lose the chrome effect leave it as it is go back to the layer and now we are ready to apply gold effect let's try to use the same method we'll add another adjustment layer with the color lookup and 3d lookup table file click on this drop down and choose edge ember and the effect is applied to isolate the subject from the background simply click here and now we have a gold effect if we want we can add black background also click on the background create new layer fill it with the black color press alt backspace and here we have gold effect if you want to change the color variation you can click on the top layer and add another adjustment layer that is hue and saturation and now you can adjust the color tone this way rose gold yellow gold you can set your desired tone so these are two another different approach to turn our object into gold that's all for now i hope you enjoyed this lesson if you like this video make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you will be notified every time i upload new video thank you